no matter what type of RV you're using and if you have batteries in your RV it's important that you save your energy no one wants to come back to your RV after it's sitting for a half a day a whole day a week and find that your batteries are dead and there's nothing left to run your power even to turn a light on if you're coming just to check your vehicle out so this is a very inexpensive item you can add to your RV and what it is as it says here on the little introductory slide it's installing a battery isolator cutoff switch and what it is it's a plastic uh, covered switch and it's located in this particular case on my trailer this is the front of the trailer you can see the propane tanks to the right the switch is right there in the uh, orangey red down tucked underneath the front of the trailer and as we zoom in here you'll see that I've located it in this area for several reasons number one the trailer overhangs the front just slightly so it protects it from the weather and number two it's close to the batteries the battery wires uh, that come from the battery themselves and hook into a collector uh, switch underneath the trailer are long enough to reach this area so you can see it comes with a key a little plastic key and what I've done with mine is I've just hung it on a chain so it's always there at the front of my trailer and the nice thing about that is that I don't have to go hunting for it when I get arrive at the trailer I do have another one hanging inside but it's just hanging here and uh, it's in such a precarious spot that nobody hunting around will even find it and what good was it going to do them the it only shuts the battery power off and what's nice about that is that when you leave your trailer all of the power is shut down even if you're li staying in your trailer at a uh, at a park or you're on vacation when you leave and go to the beach take your kids away for the day or whatever you can shut down all of the power in the trailer in other words the kids haven't left the light on in the back room that's going to drain the battery uh, you really don't need the 12 volt power while you're away if your fridge is running on propane it doesn't need any power the only reason you need power is for lighting and any appliances that are using the 12 volt power so for an inexpensive approximately $13 you can buy a switch and install it and save yourself the heartache of coming back to a trailer where the batteries are actually dead here is another installation I did for my son on his trailer and we just mounted it as we did on mine underneath the uh, front of the trailer and that front cross member uh, I have to explain a few things here the uh, the little hole on the right there uh, was too big to install the switch to do it properly and make it nice and tight so we had to leave that one alone that was existing from the factory the uh, plug on the left is plugging in to the batteries on the trailer from the uh, tongue uh, jack electronic 12 volt tongue jack has this coupling on it so that you can either plug it into your vehicle if your vehicle is right backed up to your trailer and use the power from your vehicle or you can install a plug on your actual trailer that's tied into your 12 volt system so that if your vehicle is uh, not at the location of your trailer say you're storing your trailer someplace you can simply plug in your uh, 12 volt connector for your vehicle into the trailer power and you can operate your tongue jack up and down without having the vehicle nearby and of course in the center is the switch for the actual uh, 12 volt disconnect here you just got the key put it in turn your power on or off whichever you want to do remove your key and cap it to keep the weather out so this worked really really well from the standpoint that 
whenever you were gone, you weren't a afraid of someone either operating, say, your tongue jack, your electric tongue jack, or going away from your trailer and leaving something on by mistake and coming back to the dead batteries. So there, I just uh, have to say that it was one of the better mods that give you some peace of mind and cost under basically under twenty dollars to do. So if you're interested in doing this modification uh, I will leave a link, an Amazon link in the description of the video and you can go there. There is all different shapes and sizes of switches at different prices and you can get an idea of costs and buy them wherever you want. Your local RV dealer, your local uh, automotive store will carry these and uh, it's up to you to shop and find your best buy. Well thanks for watching and until next video, happy camping.